Hey guys, I want to sidetrack for a minute and uh, actually revisit something that we did a couple months ago. Um, uh, there was two things I never showed off and I, I figured I might as well do it now. Um, I kind of forgot everything about it sort of. So um, it's this is um, basically the add-on right here. And uh, it's it came with the expansion pack. It's very short, so you won't have to watch much. But uh, uh, it's still pretty interesting, pretty entertaining. It's a, It was actually priced pretty, pretty correctly um, for its time, if I recall. And it added a bunch of things to multiplayer, so... Uh, let's go see the expansion of of this, which is basically just Virtual Voyager. Sure, engage. All right, so here we go. We have uh, Ensign Monroe's quarters. Ch new Chicago rugby team. So apparently he plays rugby, and you can scan like they have like the the weight and and height of like every item, almost. You can also like read Vulcan Love Slave 3, Pond Fair oh something, okay. Interesting reading. They also have a whole bunch of like logs here, which you can read like all this crap about uh, what was happening during that whole dampening field garbage. Uh, and I think that's basically it for here. Yes. Sexy Monroe in the mirror. Anyways. Um, yeah, so. No, this is not the only part. Oh, you can drink coffee. Yum. Alright. Objective log. And there's all your objectives. Henson? Seven. I must commend you on your tactical analysis of our situation earlier. It is rare that I find myself in agreement with other members of the crew in these situations. Thank you. Preparations will take some time. I suggest you use the opportunity to relax. What? Captain Janeway has encouraged me to allocate a certain percentage of my time to leisure. It is inefficient, but I see the wisdom of the practice for humans. Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever, yo. Scan that ass. Alex? Scan that ass, too. Alright. So, uh, basically, the entire point of this thing is you just go exploring, like, sometimes. Like there's security people's quarters. You need security access. You'll eventually get in there. But there's a whole bunch of like unlocks and well not unlocks, but like little Easter eggs they have, like this, for example. It's a Leap Force action figure of Monroe. Uh, I'm not sure why I can't pick it up. Okay, now it, oh you just have to walk into it. Okay, so it tells me one out of nine figurines. I don't know where everything is, I think, but you know, I'll do my best to find it all. Excuse me. Sorry, don't have time Chelsea, for chit chat. Crewman. Yes, Alex? Yeah. Yeah, they don't really have anything. They normally don't have anything to say in this part. And there's these recipes he has. Like, weird crap. Like, I don't even know what the hell that is. You can go read it. But, you know. It's just kind of like neat little things. Ooh, harvester leg. That's just one of the items. Apparently you're just carrying it all with you. It's like some kind of RPG. Hey. Sorry, I don't have time for they don't, they don't really talk to you, though. So, you mainly are supposed to do all these objectives. It's just like one big mission, but with like lots of exploration. And it's basically like, if you like the TV show, you'll really like this, because it's like, um, it's pretty accurate, Specify I guess. Desired. Uh, let's go to, I don't know, um, we're on the mess hall deck. Crew quarters. Okay, hazard ops, why not? Hazard op and it just reloads the, uh, the game into the place you're going into. So right now I'm just running around with a tricorder. It's basically like there's no attacks or anything, it's just like very basic stuff. There we go. Now I got guns. Alright. Oviedo. What's up? It doesn't have much for me. Alright. Well, this is the hall deck I was supposed to visit. And so there's like a couple programs, I'll just show you them all, might as well. So there's a tranquil garden relaxation program. Which is actually kinda of funny. Warning. Holodeck malfunction. Safety lock offline. So there's like some kind of sort of safety, safety lock, malfunction, whatever the hell. Apparently this is supposed to be a relaxation program or something. And there's a Boothby. Hey. Okay, he's not going to talk to me and he's just going to walk through that bush. Excuse me. Nope, he says absolutely nothing to you. You can play multiplayer, it's kind of funny actually. And this is just like, they, they spawn and you just kill them. It's really weird. But uh, as far as I know, they, they spawn like infinitely. There's no there's no victory. Um, maybe there is, who knows. 
So I'm basically just gonna exit the holodeck because it's like, whatever. Goodbye. That one, that one's just not too interesting. The firing range is also kind of neat. The game kind of lags though, so that's my excuse. Begin. All right. Kind of just have to look around. Oh, there it is. It's just basically, yeah, it's like a firing range. You just gotta shoot everything as fast as you can, I guess. Oh, there we go. Oh, I could, I could just go up there. Oops, missed. Wait, what? They're all down there. Wow, this makes it easy. <laughs> just like hang out on here. And the other one's up there somewhere. Or maybe not. Oh, there he is. And it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a firing Excellent. range. What'd you expect? And I, I think it gives you a score at the end. Uh, no, it doesn't. It just, you just finished it. Okay. And, oh, this, this one's really fun, actually. Um, the TV show also had this, like, this, this cheesy holodeck program that Paris did, which was, uh, <laughs> it, it's Cap Captain Photon or whatever. And, uh, you got, like, a laser gun and shit. It's actually, this is actually like a full mission, it's, and it's, as I said, like, the entire expansion is just a nod to the TV series. So, it's, it's, it's pretty entertaining. As I said, more so if you're really into Star Trek. Alright, let's go up. I think this is the elevator. No, it's not. I'm confused. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to, oh wait, I'm supposed to activate that. My bad. All right, we go up here. I'm also gonna do a bit of multi, but you'll get to see that after. Control panel. There we go. I keep hurting myself by by falling. Ah, there we go. That's what I thought. Lift goes up now. Except I've hurt myself a whole lot, which is probably not good for my health and well-being. So, Doctor Kataka. I don't. I don't exactly remember how it all went down. Okay, so I don't know why we're turning this off. I assume so we can get up here? Yeah, because there's like no entry there. And you get like a laser beam gun. They get like scavenger rifles out. It's all black and white and everything. It's kind of like just how like a old ass TV show would kind of look. Alright. Oh, uh, we can't save here. Oh. So I went to go scratch myself for a sec, and then they started shooting me. It's kind of funny how you can just snipe them. Do I have a zoom key? Oh, nope. Sorry, that's not right click. Beats me with the key is. And X is apparently jump as well. There's one over there. I'm pretty sure my zoom in key was middle click. Yeah, okay. Don't worry, I don't need no sco freaking scope to go snipe them. Oh, and there's even more up there. I really need health. You do get health back some somewhere here. I don't exactly know where, though. Oh well, we'll just keep going around. I think this gun was also usable in multiplayer as well. This is kind of cool. Uh, son of a bitch. I can still see him anyways. Just take very careful aim. Yeah, it's all very polygon-like, which is actually exactly what the TV show was like. Uh, well, the TV show in the TV show. A TV show within a TV show. TV-ception? Yeah, I know. <laughs> a predictable joke. But, uh... What on the hell is this? It's like a hoverboard thing. Whatever. Alright. Oh crap. Alright, we got basically all of them. And oh, oh, oh damn it, they hit me. 
Uh, I'm hoping that there's nobody. I may want to actually go down there. And it kind of sucks because if you lose, you uh, go back to the beginning. Oh, here we go. Okay, and you can die too. Thing is, I have no melee, so or like any kind of alternate weapon scheme. Oh, apparently they're really dumb and don't know how to shoot me through this, which works in my favor. There we go, and energy weapon terminal. There we go. We just need to help one. You think one of these would do that, but apparently not. Okay, we're really fucked. We are so fucked. Alright. Let's be very careful now. I don't want to redo this. Walk you around with four, four health like a boss. Oh my god, it's right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> I survived! Wow, that was that was pretty intense. It's like what one one shot cannot hit you. Oh, here we go. It's so nice to have health to spare. Their one weakness is circle strafing. <laughs> Alright, well, I just activated something. I have no idea what. Uh, well, let's just go hang out down here, I guess. Well, we can go see what's over here, I guess. I mean, we didn't go into this tower here. I was wanting to go... Or maybe was it here? Hell if I know. There we go. All right. What in the hell? Oh, there. I don't know. I kind of like the architecture. It's kind of nice. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> and the main villain is a. Um, I I can't pronounce a word for that. Like, let's let's just say really really full of himself. No, I I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. That's that's how much I know. I just can't pronounce it. There we go. It's like a mini sniper. Well, sniper pistol. Games really lack that. They, they want too much spread in their guns. Alright, well, there's no reason for me to be up here, so... Looks like we've made it. The evil stronghold of Dr. Chaotica. And rescue Constance Goodhart from Dr. Evil... What? There you go. So, you know, it's very shooter-like. As, as you would expect. I mean, it is a shooter game. Oh. Son of a bitch. Best be running. Okay, health. Alright. You can spam this as well all you want, I guess. And kill stuff. You know, I, I don't really want to find out what happens if you don't have... Ammo. There you go, bullets. This is not really a secret, though. This is just like, you do it just for fun. You know, games for fun. You remember those days when you didn't have to unlock a billion items? Nah, I'm not gonna go nostalgia now. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't crazy for the expansion pack, um, but it's worth playing once. It's, as I said, it's more of a thing for people who are, like, genuinely huge fans of this stuff. And, you know, you, you also get to see it, and I also feel like I've completed the entire thing. Holy crap. Oh, Paris. What were you up to?
So it's kind of just fun just to see the whole black and white stuff, I guess. Jeez. Okay, I'm kind of playing less carefully now. There we go. Please, uh, okay, there we go. Health. You know, really, at this point, we should be done. I think I usually gave up at this point. Because <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's, that's kind of interesting. There we go. Oh, it's a robot. This is the robot. Oh, you can also be him in multiplayer, which is also hilarious. You joking me? He's a boss? There we go. Oh, we win. And the program just ends. Okay. Uh, and then there's this one, which is, I think, kind of interesting. Um, I... Or no, no, this is just a regular thing. You locate the Federation pad. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is like more of the style of... Of the actual game, and they just gave you an extra mission. I assume. It's like a Klingon base or something, I don't know. There you go. I, you find Isodesium and what else do you do? Oh, I think that's a bonus. How the fuck did you know I was here? And why are you shooting some- You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell. Oh, I have one. Okay. Well, it's just gonna be glitched infinitely. Yeah, by the way, Middle Mouse is a zoom. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep running this way. Circle straight for Rondu. You see, I for I've forgotten what it is, what I how I'm supposed to play. So I'm just gonna play how much, like, however I want, which is, like, basically just falls to the wall. Sniping them with that other gun. Also legs a little bit, as I as I mentioned, it's kind of weird. I always like I always love this gun. Anyways, interesting holodeck. I always like the energy grenades. If you're gonna use that gun, you might as well. All right, let's see. Do they have any interesting consoles here? No, none whatsoever. Oh, they have a red force field. Oh, wait, that goes somewhere. Goes into the same place I've been in already. All right. Well, I remember where I was supposed to go here, although I got lost, like, I always get lost if, if I haven't played it in a while. But I remembered it. Uh, I don't think I want to go down there, do I? Oh, I can. No real point, though. Let's just go up the ladder, which I'm having struggling with. There we go. Just doesn't like fraps too well, it seems. Oh, well. Oh, wait. What? Oh, wait. That was the door, wasn't it? And I just hurt myself. Which means I'm probably going to lose this. And it's going to not... It's going to pretty much suck. Fuck. Stop being such a game. Or I have to try and do stuff. Damn it. Alright, come on. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Also might be the sensitive, it's kind of screwy. Alright. Yeah. Alright, uh... I'm gonna use a compression rifle just so I can snipe him if I need to. Because I think that's gonna be the major winning factor here. Oh, here we go. It'd be really nice if I had health. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy. Oh, it restarted me. Alright, give me a minute. Oh, never mind. Okay, sorry, I just realized that despite the fact it brought me to the beginning, I actually, uh, it doesn't restart the map, it just respawns you. So, I can just go right back in. Oops. This is the best. Oh shit, no, it fucking gave me the other gun. Yeah, this is what I want to do, just be in a shooting match with these motherfuckers. There we go. Stop switching my gun. I swear, if you keep doing that, I'm gonna go into the settings and bore everyone with configuration up and... Alright. Uh, it wants us to go in here. Apparently we teleported somewhere. Let's go in here. It's like the Deus Ex stealth route. <laughs> Ventilation shafts. There we go. And so we have a method we can go down there apparently with. It's over here. Yeah, you can come you can come to me. You're more than welcome to. You can hear him running. Good enough. Nope, they're still coming. Damn it! Oh, oh, okay, now I'll go down this thing. They feel like they... they, they well, no, sorry, they don't feel, but they sound like they run so much faster than I do. More Isodesium. How much I... Uh, I, can, I can... I can practically... practically shit Isodesium now. Okay, I guess this doesn't really do anything. I... I, I assume that this did something, but apparently not. All right. Oh, hi. There we go. Oh, we got control panels, but they're both locked. Oh, this head's... Oh, that goes right into that room. So what the hell is the point of beaming there? I don't even know. Okay, that's that's a room we need to get into, though. And this, I think, goes right back to where the... No, it goes nowhere, actually. Alright, let's go back to the vents, then. Um, I don't think there's something else I'm supposed to do here. Uh, maybe it was not supposed to go down here this way. Alright. Uh, oh, this is how you get to the top, I guess. Well, good thing I went down there, because it's much easier to fight them there. Uh, I guess we go over here. And I guessed correctly. F somewhat correctly. Nah, no, these don't just get destroyed. What is the point in this room? I don't have a flashlight key, so I just assume I'm not supposed to be here. Oh wait, there we go. What? Oh. Wait. No? Okay, he just uh, magically appeared in that room. I'll believe that. It's a video game. Anything's possible. Oh, and I fell. Doesn't matter. Uh, well, there's this. I guess it, I get you know what it's probably something in that room or it's something I have to open here. No, it's probably something in this room. It seems kind of odd. I don't really remember. This is what I mean. You forget what to do. The only solution is to never stop playing video games. Oh wait, no, that was not a fucking hell. Are you serious? Okay, well I did it right the entire time. Oh, here we go. Oops, I missed. You joking?
I guess I'll just run around in circles. Alright, now what? Uh, now... Okay, we, we... We activated that. We activated that. I think the... I think we now we have to go do that control panel that I saw earlier, or we go over here. We go over here. Not sure what the hell that control panel did. Maybe that opened... Oh, that probably opened the other thing. Maybe it was locked before. Anyways, that's, that's pretty much it for that. Um, so we did all the holodeck stuff. There's that, that's not the only holodeck stuff, but that's probably the, the not my favorite one. Not my favorite part of the game. But I showed it to you anyways. Okay, so we have to go to view astrometrics. Okay, so we got Monroe. I can't apparently access anyone else's crap, so... Whatever, we'll keep going. Alright, let's, I guess, do things in order. Or, wait, we can beam. Let's beam this stuff. Security access required. Aw. Brian, can't you see I'm working? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just like last time. Every time I talk to them. Can't you see I'm working right now? Even though they're just, like, staring at a fucking wall. Oh, wait, no, this goes somewhere. So you can also you also probably will recognize some of these places like I was in here at one point I'm sure. Yeah, I was in here definitely. I think this is the one with the uh, security the acid access floor. Required. Fucking hell! Let me go get the security access for all this crap so we can we can actually enter some of these rooms. And you do that by basically uh, doing everything in order. So view astrometrics holograph display. Specify deck desired. Uh, it would be maybe computer core. I'm gonna assume computer core. Oh no, that's eight. eight. Astrometrics and cargo bay. Thanks for telling me what it is before I went there. So if I press T, I got the train. This thing, which is probably better, so I don't shoot people by accident. Oh, there's people in here. Oh, and we recognize this, this is from the uh, initial part of the game. Uh, the, f the very first battle. Hey. Can I help you? Okay. Don't really learn a whole lot. Oh, here we go. That's the Chell action figure. We got two now. Anyways, we'll come back here in a minute. Uh, we're just gonna, gonna dig around with this. Uh, okay. Let's go to Astrometrics. Sure, why not? Ensign Monroe. The Avatar if is you large you may mystery. access the astrometric and the Borg are erased from that console. And I don't know whose thing I just got, uh, but I can view them all later. Seven. The Borg. I must admit I am concerned that the Borg Queen's fixation on me may one day seriously endanger. The Avatar is large the Imperials come from a con yeah, you flying can, security. You can learn about everything discovered on the dreadnought. How about hundred bot? Seven. Simplistic automatons. Yeah, they have they have voices for all that stuff, but you know, as I said, I'm not really gonna go through all that because it doesn't really interest me. You wouldn't want me to sit here and do it, like just buy the game. If you really like that stuff. Specify deck right, design. Computer core. Where are you? Deck nine. Computer core. I'm in your computer cores, doing your stuffs. But uh, you know what? Um, you know, we're, uh, it looks like we're gonna have a part two and possibly part three. So let me just tell you now: this entire LP is going to end with a bang. It will. I, I, I. You have my my guarantee on that. Stay tuned for that. Well, you know, whenever it ends, I don't know. I'm just gonna cut up whatever whenever I feel like. That, like gripping content. What happens next? Okay, where are we now? Computer core. It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Where are we? Current position. Computer core. Okay, so we need to continue to go this way. There we go. Uh, I don't think we want to take the Jeffers tubes, do we? All right, well, maybe we'll try it. Sure, but why not? Let's take the Jeffrey's tubes. I don't know who Jeffrey is and why he made the, these really small tubes. Sounds like a motherfucker to me. Ah, right, here we go. We're here. And there's gonna be an action figure somewhere, I think. There we go. 
And this one's Chang. Get him. I want the Beesman one. Alright. Where are all the access codes? Alright, we go. Access codes granted. There we go. And now we have we have a bunch of other things to do, which is like uh, a bunch of hey. crap. Yeah. I wonder what's in here. I just fell into the computer core. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What is the load key? I don't even know. There we go. Yeah, there's only one save with this. It looks like. Ah, it's okay. I don't need a ton of saves. What the fuck? Come on. Okay, it looks like I'm in a bit of a pickle. Won't actually let me leave. Hey. I can't leave! Uh... Okay, you're open? Oh, there we go. Thank God. Would've been the shortest video ever. Well, not really. It's 30 minutes, but still. Alright, uh, well, now that we've sufficiently dicked around here, uh, let's go, sure, let's go back to, uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna actually explore each deck, deck by deck, but we're gonna just do the objectives first, I think that's a good, that's a good idea. When the objectives are done, then we'll explore everything. <laughs> do you see, do you see how the fucking thing was closed, just closing? <laughs> I don't know why that happens, it, it's a funny glitch though, alright. Yay! We beamed it all away. And visit deck 15. Okay, let's do that. Uh, that's deck 15. Transporter activated. Please move to transporter pad. What do you think I've done? Dear God. Oh look, I'm on the transporter pad. There we go. Thank God. All right. Transport successful. There's Borg Slayer, and we're gonna do that in a minute. Uh, we're just gonna go launch the shuttle. Specify deck. By the way, there is no deck 15 on this. You have to actually go there yourself. It's kind of interesting. Deck 10. Ship seems a lot smaller than it actually is, because it, I think it's supposed to have like 150 people or something, and they and they eventually had like 114. I don't know. Launch shuttle from shuttle bay. Here we are. All right. Good times. Here we go. Tom, what? What do you want? Oh, is this the place where I failed to save that guy? Probably is. Go open this. Open you. Oh, here we go. Ah, right, we got the t Tetrion disruptor. Couple of guns just laying around. Apparently, just like, you know, in the ventilation shafts for no reason. Alright, um. Oh, and we have. Whatever, whoever that chick is. Whatever. 